It is late afternoon and the boats are in the marina. In this video lesson, you will learn how to paint boats and their reflection in the water, as well as the cloudy sky and the character of the light. Here is the artwork that was done in the video lesson. It covers an impression of this marina with the sky, boats, and water. I will paint on location in watercolor, and this artwork begins with a rough sketch in graphite pencil directly onto the watercolor paper. To begin, I will use a mixture of ultramarine and cobalt turquoise light pigments to paint the blue color of the sky. This mix is applied wet on dry with wide brush strokes using a round mop brush. The hue of the sky is colder at the top and warmer closer to the horizon. That is why I add ochre yellow light to continue this variegated wash. The border between cold and warm colors is diffused softly. I am now preparing a darker mix of ultramarine and cadmium orange, which I will use for painting the clouds wet into wet. We can now move on and paint the sea. For its color, I use a mix of ultramarine with viridian and cobalt turquoise. To warm up this color, I can also add yellow ochre light and make a variegated wash with a round mop brush. As the pigments sink into paper fibers, the tonal values become lighter. Therefore, I keep adding the mix of ultramarine and cadmium orange in order to achieve darker values. The boats are in the middle ground. Because they are closer to us, they appear with a darker contrast between light and shadows. You can see that the crane parts are suggested with a dry brush, and for the smaller details, I use a rigger brush, which is great for making thin lines. There are also boats on the left-hand side. For their dark, cold color, I use ultramarine and cadmium orange. These two complementary colors produce a nice-looking gray, which would not be obtainable via other methods, such as by diluting a black pigment. The task I have in mind is to make an impressionistic snapshot of this place, not a well-documented description of every small detail we can see in this marina. The wildlife in this marina is thriving. While I was painting the boats, an octopus came to the surface. What a wonderful creature. This was a good and productive day. By now the sun is setting, and I have finished this artwork. Here it is, a fully completed, impressionistic watercolor of the marina, complete with boats.